Oh hi! I'm Jen and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing something super exciting. We are unboxing Magic Room brand drumsticks and guitar picks. Uh, Magic Room brand is a phenomenal company that has a subscription service for drumsticks, guitar picks, and just in general music gear, but it's all eco-friendly. Like, dude, that's amazing. I was searching high and low for subscription boxes that we could unbox together on this channel because who doesn't love unboxing subscription boxes, guys? And I was looking for something that a tap dancer would like and came up pretty <laughs> empty-handed. There are no tap dance specific subscription boxes anywhere. And even the dancer subscription boxes are either for like dance team young kids or they're for ballerinas specifically. Like there's a couple ballet boxes that are pretty cool, but not really for tap dancers. So I was like, what am I gonna do? There's really nothing. And then I said, well, why don't I look up like drummer supplies because tap dancers are also percussionists so maybe there could be something in a music subscription box looked for that found a lot of guitar subscription boxes that gave like strings <laughs> and i'm like well we don't really need that and then i came across magic room brand they are a company that sells eco-friendly drumsticks and guitar picks which is truly incredible so in addition to being a tap dancer i am also a drummer but more than that, I use drumsticks all the time when I teach and when I perform because I incorporated playing the drums on stage into Noise Complaints show, but also I bring my sticks to every class that I teach so that I can play rhythms on the sticks, have the students repeat the rhythms, I can teach different rhythm patterns, and I can just teach the students how rhythm translates not just from your feet but also in your hands, body percussion, all kinds of stuff. So. Really, rhythm really is my game. So I was looking for a way to do this. To, I'm always looking for a way to do things more sustainably. As a drummer, um, I go through, I want to say 10 to 15 pairs of sticks a month. If it's a month where I'm, I have a lot of time to go in the, to go in the garage and like just shred on the acoustic kit, dude. I go through so many pairs of sticks because the cymbals just eat them up. They like one practice session and I've got like tons of little cracks and nicks in my sticks. You know, I started using Japanese oak wood, but those they're just so hard and they the kick back on the hand is it hurts, honestly. <laughs> so not a big fan of the super hard sticks, but eating through so many sticks and then you're just like, I'm killing all the trees in the world. So then when I found Magic Room Brand, I noticed that they make their sticks and they make guitar picks out of sustainable bamboo. Like, bamboo is the easiest to grow source of anything on this planet. You can make bed sheets out of bamboo. You can make flooring out of bamboo. And I have bamboo flooring for my top videos. And now you can make drumsticks and guitar picks. Out of bamboo and one of the things I really love actually is the guitar picks because the, usually those are made out of plastic so this just went from zero sustainability to a hundred percent sustainability the drumsticks having them made out of bamboo has so many different benefits from the weight to the they're not gonna kick back you know, when I try these for you on camera, you'll see, I mean, you won't really see, but I'll be able to tell you, they're not going to kick back the way the Japanese oak does because it's so rigid. Bamboo's a lot softer. So, anyway, Magic Room brand uh, was nice enough to send me some wonderful products. And what's, look, they come in these really cute bags, like little bamboo. These are, the bags are made of bamboo and they're really soft, drawstring bags. So I'm going to tell you guys about the guitar picks first. Oh, so cool. So here we have the guitar picks and I will show them to you on camera. So you can see it says Magic Room. They are a little thicker than I usually use for guitar pick in the part where you hold. However, they go really thin at the tip. 
making it exactly what I usually use when I play guitar. These are absolutely beautiful. They have a great texture to them and they're the perfect size. They're nice and light. I like the way that they sound together, but that's neither here nor there because I'm not going to use them as a percussion instrument, but cue the tapper going, oh, they sound good, whatever. But yeah, these feel incredible. I can't wait to try them out. So I'll get my guitar out and we can try to strum a few chords. All right, so I'm sitting down with my guitar, really happy because this feels really good. Okay, what I didn't notice before is that it's actually got like a curve to it, which is so perfect for your thumb. <laughs> like I am living for this curve. Usually when you get a, um, a pick, it's just straight, you know? Um, probably the good ones have curves and you can see I've never had one of the good ones before. No, I do. It is curved and I like it. It's such a subtle curve, but I love it. So it's, uh, I'm excited. So I guess we get to see what it sounds like. ever felt comfortable playing guitar before the way that I feel right now this was really comfy like extremely comfy it sounds weird but like I don't know it just it fits my finger perfectly it hits hits the strings it has a weird sound to it when it hits the strings but it's not a bad sound it definitely doesn't sound like plastic hitting metal it sounds more organic than that and I love it so yeah actually let me grab a plastic pick and let's see if we can really hear the difference. You hear that sound when it hits the strings? Like, let me see if I can like... That's plastic. And just that sound. So let's go back to the bamboo. That sound, that is so different. Like, let me just, that's a huge difference. You actually get some tone when you do that. That's amazing. Dude, I am hooked. I am hooked for life. I know where I'm getting my picks from now on. Oh my gosh. All right, so these are incredible. I'm very happy. Now let's move on to the drumsticks. <laughs> All right, so he also sent me some really cool stuff. I got, you know, a sticker. I love their font. That is the cutest font. So stickers, look at this logo. It's so cute. I love it. So established in 2015, so it's a fairly new company. And, oh, and a coaster, he says, because tapping is hard and people get thirsty. That's why he sent me the coaster, which I thought was really cute. Um, he also sent me a handwritten note. And my favorite part of this note is that he said, be well and always, hashtag be what you make. And I love that phrase, be what you make. That makes me noise. I am going to be noise. Hmm. I love that. That's how noise complaint got its name, actually, because I constantly get noise complaints. And now the star of the show. Look at this bag, first of all. This is the nicest drumstick bag. Here, let me get this um, ribbon off it that was holding everything together. Magic Room is right on the bag. It is a really soft, sustainable fabric um, drawstring. So I can actually, it's big enough for me to keep a couple pairs in here. So I can definitely bring this to class and have a nice little bag to keep my sticks in instead of just having them flop around in my dance bag and I can only find one in a minute, you know, nice bag. So I will put that here. 
here are the sticks. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. Um, I picked up the package, but I hadn't really opened them yet, but I knew that they were light, but I didn't know that they felt this nice. Here's the thing. Sometimes you buy drumsticks and they have like a lacquer finish on them. They're like, like finishing, you know? These are unfinished. These don't have a shiny cover. And a lot of times I would worry about like splintering, but these don't feel like they're gonna splinter at all. Like these don't feel, these feel really well put together and they definitely feel like bamboo. It's really cool. You can see Magic Room brand has been put onto the sticks. Um, it looks like it was burned on, which is really cool. Uh, these are 5A size. They also come in 5B and 7A. I had a hard time choosing between 5A and 7A because I use both for different songs. Like when I play Jamie All Over by Mayday Parade, I want a really light stick because that's a fast drumming. And But I was like, these are probably going to be really, really light. So let me just get 5A so that they're not like too light. And that was a good choice. These are so light. Oh my goodness. So they definitely don't seem like they're going to have kickback. And what I mean by kickback is that when you... When you hit, the back of it can kind of like hit you in the hand. And when it's a really stiff, hard wood, like Japanese oak, when it hits you in the hand, it's like getting hit with a stick. Okay, but you know what I mean? This feels a little bit, it's lighter, it's softer, and when it hits me, it kind of like bounces a lot. And so I like that. So I'm super excited to try these on my V kit, which is what I'm mostly using right now. Um, they are a great length. Like this is typical drumstick length. I love this. And I'm really excited to see what they sound like on different surfaces. So we're going to try them on a couple of different surfaces, not just my V kit. Um, so you guys can see what it would sound like when I bring it to class. So let's give them a try. Okay, so this is the kit that I play the most often. It's my practice kit, but I've also played it on stage. It's a fantastic V kit. Um, thing is, it does have rubber pads, so it will have more kickback than my other kits that have mesh pads. But again, this is the one I play the most often, so I felt that this was the best one to try the sticks out with. First of all, these feel so comfortable in the hand. They just they're just really comfortable. I know that's weird unless you're a drummer for me to say. You're probably like, why is it comfortable to hold a stick? But these are really comfy. Um, so I'm just gonna just play a couple things and yeah, just see how I feel. I love them. Um, just based on like just a few seconds of playing, they feel really, really soft in my hand. And again, I was talking about like the kickback that I get with Japanese oak. It doesn't kick back against my hand. It's, I want to say flexible, but it's really not. I think it's just the way that it's weighted. I think it's just, it's really composed well to where it's comfortable to play. Um, I right now don't know what they would sound like on not V drums, maybe they have a different timbre and I can play around with that, but my kits really aren't set up for that right now, so we're gonna play around with it on V drums. But just the the weight is so good for V kits. I love this. Um, also what I noticed is that it's really soft, absolutely soft, and I don't know that it would give me blisters. A lot of times with a long practice session, I end up having to tape my fingers I don't like gloves because I sweat too much, but I end up taping my fingers so that I don't really get blisters, but I don't feel like these would give me any because they're just really soft. But I'll do a full practice session and play around with it, and then I'll write in the description below if I do get blisters or if I don't, so that way you guys can find out. Um, I'm not going to do a full practice session on camera. That's weird. But yeah, overall, I absolutely love these. They feel good. They're lightweight, but they still feel very sturdy and like I could get through a long practice session with this. So yeah, uh, I'm really happy with this and I can't wait to do a full session and these are phenomenal. So I wanted to try it on my acoustic kit. Um, it's not fully set up right now because it has two silent heads and one regular head, but I just really wanted to hear it on cymbals. I wanna know how they react to cymbals. So I also don't want to kill you guys with volume, so I'm gonna play very lightly. But 
Let's see what happens. Again, this is a silent head, so you're not really going to hear the snare drum. <laughs> so... like Japanese oak. What happens is when you play like with a maple stick or a hickory stick, sometimes when you hit the rim of the cymbal, it can like fray it and start to splinter. But when you hit with Japanese oak, it kind of just dents it a little bit. And this only dented it. So I'm pretty impressed. Again, I was not wailing on it. I was going light because you don't want me to have the mic set up when I do that. Um, but again, they feel really, really good just kicking back off that. It feels great. I am absolutely in love. Well, I have never made such a beautiful purchase in my whole life before today. <laughs> I am in love with these, and I'm not just saying that. Um, I am forever going to subscribe for these drumsticks. This, I have never felt such a comfortable stick I know that's weird, but I've never felt like such comfort as I'm going because they're just so smooth, but at the same time, they're light, but at the same time, they have a good strike to them. And then seriously, the opportunity to play guitar with a pick and have it not be made out of plastic. I, where was this my whole life? Like, where was this when I just before finding out about this company bought like 20 plastic picks? <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about these. I'm definitely going to give a couple of these as gifts to my friend Julian. He is the guitarist for a really fantastic metal band and I want him to be able to try these out and he's just a good friend of mine. So I'll probably give these to him. Um, I would say the name of his metal band, but I actually cannot pronounce it. So I will post it down below so you guys can see it. And I, I, you know, the thing about the metal bands with their names. I, I just, I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this review. Thank you to Magic Room Brand for being a company. That's really what I want to thank you for, for actually being a company and creating sustainable music supply that not only can musicians use, but also tap dancers can use. Like these are amazing. If you teach tap, get some of these, bring them to your class. They're inexpensive. They're good for the environment and they're light enough that your students will be able to use them. They're an amazing teaching tool. I, I will do a couple of teacher videos on this channel using these sticks so that you guys can see like different games that you can play with your students using drumsticks. I'm really excited to show that to you guys. Um, I have a code that will give you a discount on a subscription or just a one-time purchase. All that will be down below in the description. So if you're interested in trying them out, please check out that code. Um, I get nothing out of it except to help the environment by enticing you guys to switch to a sustainable brand. So that's really exciting. And just these are really nice and cool people that run this company. And that means a lot to me. That means more to me than anything. If I know that this company is run by a really good person, oh, they have my business for life. Um, so yeah, I don't want to put these down. <laughs> I'm really excited about these. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you guys are as excited about Magic Room brand as I am. And if you get to try out their stuff, please comment down below and tell me what you think because I want to know if you love them as much as I do. So thank you Magic Room brand and thank you all of you guys. And as always, I'm going to change it today. Thank you for making noise with me.